uh, this one first. Can you see it right now on your screen? No, not yet. This one. Can you see it right now? Yes. All right. Yes, I can see it. All right, all right. Okay, so I'm going to um, play it. And then after that, um, I would like you to retell the story. If you think one time is not enough, um, maybe two times, yeah? Uh, so it's only like two minutes and 30 seconds. Okay, there you go. One, two, three. The boy who cries falls. Once upon a time, in time, there is a shepherd boy lying down the hill. Ah, poor boy. From the kingdom, there is a wolf. There is a wolf. Village people all came up in a thick and clumps. What? A wolf? There's a wolf? There's a wolf? Oh, yeah, a wolf. Oh, a wolf. <laughs> I just made that up. I can't believe I... <laughs> the village people oh, became furious oh, and they left. The boy had so much fun playing the wolf trick again. A few days later, the boy played the wolf trick again. Ow! Wolf! There's a huge wolf! The people came out running with their sticks and clubs again. <laughs> I tricked you again! <laughs> you evil boy! We're never going to fall for this trick again. The people were even more furious this time when they left. No! Oh, come on, come on let's go. Then, one day, a big and scary wolf really did appear. Help! <laughs> help! Please, someone help! There's a wolf! Really, there's a wolf! Huh. There he goes again. Does he think we're going to fall for that trick again? That's absurd! Hearing his cries, the village people didn't move an inch. But it was at that time that the wolf ate all the sheep. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> My sheep! My poor sheep! <laughs> All right. <laughs> Is that clear? Do you think you want uh, you want me to repeat it again, or is that enough? Only one try. <laughs> you want me to repeat it again, or not? Repeat again, yeah. Okay. If you have any pencil or maybe pen or maybe paper, you can <laughs> try to prepare it. Yeah. Okay. One, two, three, go. <laughs> The Boy Who Cried Wolf Once upon a time, there lived a shepherd boy. <sighs> oh, I'm so bored. Isn't there anything fun I can do? The shepherd boy came up with an idea, and he ran into town yelling, Ow! Wolf! Wolf! There's a wolf! Where? Where's the wolf? The village people all came out with sticks and clubs. What? A wolf? There's 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 a wolf? I just made that up. I can't believe I tricked you all. <laughs> The village people became furious and they left. The boy had so much fun playing the wolf trick again. A few days later, the boy played the wolf trick again. Ow! Wolf! There's a huge wolf! 
the people came out running with their sticks and clubs again. <laughs> I tricked you again! <laughs> you evil boy! We're never going to fall for this trick again! The people were even more furious this time when they left. No! Oh, come on, come on let's go! Then, one day, a big and scary wolf really did appear. Help! Help! Please! Someone help! There's a wolf! Really? There's a wolf! Huh. There he goes again. Does he think we're going to fall for that trick again? That's absurd! Hearing his cries, the village people didn't move an inch. But it was at that time that the wolf ate all the sheep. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> My sheep! My poor sheep! <laughs> all right. <laughs> so <clears throat> that is the story, the short story. Okay. This is actually only a kid's story, right? Very short. <laughs> <coughs> okay, who's ready <laughs> to be the first victim? <laughs> yeah. What? The first victim. <laughs> <laughs> Who's gonna be the first victim? Your step one. <laughs> <laughs> For the first victim. To oh my god. <laughs> Wanna try first? Wanna try Wait. first? Okay. 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 I will try, okay? All right. Thank you. <laughs> okay, there you go. Uh, yes, the story is about the boy and his sheep uh, in meadow, yeah? Yeah. And then the boy feel bored. All right. And he will make meet up yeah he will make up uh to get the funny for himself okay. and then the first he tricks will yelling help me help me they are a wolf and then the people in is surrounding mm -hmm. come and then they know that the boy was lying then the second the boy make trick again and finally they found that the boy lie again and one day when the truth that there was uh, many wolf, but when he yelled to people to want helping, but the people didn't believe again. And then finally, uh, finally, uh, his wolf, oh yeah. Mm -hmm. His wolf, how Mati, uh, dead, or I don't know, the end. That something like that, sir. Maybe it's enough. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Great. <laughs> <laughs> you want to become the next victim now? <laughs> <laughs> you can turn on your microphone or raise your hand if you want to try. You want to try? You want to try? Me, 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 me. Oh, Rehan, you wanna try? Okay, let's give it a try. Okay, Rehan, your turn now. <laughs> All the time, there's a Ah, uh, I saw boy. Nothing fun that I can do. And the boy said, aha, I have an idea. What about I? Play wolf trick to the villager. And then the boy is running down to the hill and then he's 
lintang yeling. Nisat, au, wolf, wolf. There is a wolf in the villager said, Where? Where is the wolf? And then the boy like, ah, I just made that up. up. I can believe I trick you all. Ah. The villager and just to the village again. And the boy so to play the village again. That a oh, wolf. There is a huge wolf. And then the villagers try to save the boy. And then the boy said, Ah, I trick you again. Ah. And then the villager said, you evil boy, we never pulled that trick again. And then the villager go back to the village and then he's more angry and wonderful the day. There is a wolf, Ow. and then the boy said, said ah, ah, there, uh, I still forgot first. Yeah. There is a wolf. There's a wolf. And then the cherry go again. I don't know. He go again. Do you, do you think he fought that trick again? That's, that's absurd. Hearing the voice cry, the, the village did not move at in, but it's already that time. The wolf is already the sheep. And then the boy said, I have my sheep, my poor sheep. The end. So, what is the moral of the story, Rehan? Uh, the more. You don't lie, the more people not trust you. All right, great job. Good job, Rehan. <laughs> Way to go. <laughs> okay, so that is the performance from the oldest participant and the youngest participant. <laughs> okay, now who's going to be the next victim? <laughs> Wanna try? Uh, just retell the story. Uh, with your own words, it doesn't have to be like 100% perfect. <laughs> or maybe I'm going just to choose, yeah? <laughs> okay. Um, but Febri, you want to try? Okay, I want to try. All right. Once upon a time, there was a boy who cried, well, uh, mm -hmm. The boy is the boy. Uh, I think the boy. One day, the boy is feel um bored, and then he tried to call the villager, and then say like, "I will help." And then the boy uh get the attention from the villager, and then the villager help him. But the boy feel like I trick you all, and then he just loud. And the second time, the boy do that again, like oh, and then the villager go to help him again, and then the boy once again he he feel like happy to trick the villager, and then the villager like upset with him, and then. For the uh, third one, the boy got attacked by the wolf, and then no villager would help him because he always uh, do the trick, trick, trick to the villager, and the villager didn't believe him. 
<laughs> That's all. Okay, thank you. All right, nice. That is very really fast. But that is um the whole thing. It's very compact. Okay, nice. Maybe uh, else instead of me, maybe let just um from the previous participants to choose the next participants. Uh, but maybe choose the next participant then. Okay, maybe. Hasta Meita. Oh yeah, Mbak Hasta Meita. Hasta Meita. Mm -hmm. Mbak Hasta Meita, still there? Hmm. There is no reply. Maybe Mbak Hasta Meita still doing something else. Okay. Sorry, sorry. I just, uh, I just joined, so I, I, I don't, I don't know about the story. Oh, you just joined. Yeah, I just joined. Yeah. Sorry. Uh, okay, okay. Who else? Who just joins? Just Mbak Hasta Meta, or there is somebody else also who just joined? <laughs> okay. Um. For the other participant, do you think we need to reply? Excuse me. Yes. Excuse me, Mr. Tago. Excuse me. Yes. Uh, Mr. Tago. Yes. Uh, maybe I will left five minutes because I have visitor. Okay. Uh, okay. 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 Yes, thank you. Good. Okay. Okay. Thank, thank you for joining us. <laughs> okay. Uh, maybe I'm going to repeat it again one more time, right? So that uh, for those who probably a little bit late to join, you can. Um, understand but only one time yeah only one time if you think you need to write it down with pen or with a paper uh, just paper it starting from now and for those who have not yet performed um, this opportunity you can use it to yeah memorize it again <laughs> and retell it uh, with your own words there you go once upon a time there lived a shepherd boy <laughs> Oh, I'm so bored. Isn't there anything fun I can do? <coughs> the shepherd boy came up with an idea. And he ran into town yelling, Ow! Wolf! Wolf! There's a wolf! Where? Where's the wolf? The village people all came out with sticks and clubs. What? A wolf? There's a wolf? Oh, there's a wolf! Oh, yeah. oh, there is a wolf! <laughs> I just made that up. I can't think I like think I can't. <laughs> the village people became furious and they left. The boy had so much fun playing the wolf trick again. A few days later, the boy played the wolf trick again. Ow! came out running with their sticks and clubs again. <laughs> I tricked you again. <laughs> you evil boy. We're never going to fall for this trick again. The people were even more furious this time when they left. No. Oh, come on, come on let's go. Then one day, a big and scary wolf really did appear. <laughs> <laughs> help! Please! Someone help! There's a wolf! Really? There's a wolf! Huh. There he goes again. Does he think we're going to fall for that trick again? That's absurd! Hearing his cries, the village people didn't move an inch. But it was at that time that the wolf <laughs> ate all the sheep. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> My sheep! My poor sheep! <laughs> All right, so that is the story about the boy who cried wolf. Okay, maybe I'll just um, for my meta, maybe my meta still have to prepare it. Maybe I'll just going to choose it. Maybe let's try Rara. Hello, Rara. <laughs> Ready, Rara? 
Rara, you are there? Oh, the camera is on, but she's not there. <laughs> Maybe she's going to the kitchen, probably. Uh, Sabrina Yasmin, then. Hello, Sabrina Yasmin. Sabrina. Yeah, hello, sir. Yeah. Okay, now your turn. <laughs> Um, okay, one, two, three, go. <laughs> uh, the boy was uh, Phil Potter and the board. he was calling out like a wall mm -hmm. and he teased people around and then um, they came to help the boy but the boy was lying so the one of uh, the one who came to help him mm -hmm. was a little uh, a little sedikit kesal a uh, little bit upset yeah or angry but the but the boy went to went to help him mm -hmm. uh, went to help him mm -hmm. a little a little bit okay. and when the boy um uh call out to help the real mm -hmm. people uh, people didn't believe anymore okay and then yeah it's enough that's enough all right, yeah. great. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> good job, good job there, Sabrina. Now, um, Rara, ready, Rara? Uh, yes, I'm ready. All right. <laughs> uh, there's a boy, mm -hmm. shepherd boy. I'm, I guess, a, a shepherd boy in village. is so annoying. Mm -hmm. So he have a uh, idea. Mm -hmm. He yelling at the villagers uh, and make sound like wolf. <laughs> so the village, uh, the villagers come out with weapon, weapon mm -hmm. to hunting the wolf. Weapon, by the way. Uh, and then, yeah, we weapon. We weapon. 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 Yeah. And then. Mm, when villagers came out, uh, there's nothing in the in the jungle <laughs> or in the land. Yeah. So, uh, and then the boys make a joke twice. So when the things happen, the, the, the real wolf uh, show up and then uh, the boys teriak. Uh, uh, yell. <laughs> yeah, yell, yell to to help to uh, get help yeah and the villagers believe it so the villagers like uh, ah uh, maybe the boy make jokes like uh, yang sudah sudah gitu. like previously yeah the previously so uh, that's it I guess <laughs> that's my conclusion <laughs> so what happened to the sheep you have not yet tell about that. Oh, but what happened mm, to the sheep? Uh, I forgot. <laughs> I forgot about the sheep. I'm sorry. <laughs> the sheep was eaten by the big wolf. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Great. Thank, Thank you, you, sir. Thank you. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> it's good, by the way. Okay, now to uh, Nazwa Azahra. Ready? Nazwa Azahra? Yes, sir. All right. Let's try. Okay, one day. Right. Mm -hmm. And he got the idea to scream mm -hmm. if there was a wolf. All right. If the villagers can panic, but it, it's, it's all mm -hmm. just a trick. And a second time he did again, mm -hmm. and the villagers come, and it's just another trick. And 
in the end, yeah. there are and the sick heart screamed, but not, but not scream, mm -hmm. scream, but none of the villagers had paid any attention to him. And the wolf at all the ship of the shepherd. All right, nice. Good job, good job, Ms. Lazara. Thank okay. you. Now let's move on to um, Sharon Mutiara. Hello, ready? Uh, yes, Mr. All right. Um, a boy was bored, so he had the idea to prank people mm -hmm. that there were walk. He did that twice. Mm -hmm. Third time the wolf can come. Same. He asked for people to become the wolf's uh, scary, scary piece. Jadi korbannya. Become the victim. <laughs> yeah. All right. Nice, nice. Thank you, thank you. Great. And then who else who haven't, um, oh yeah, there's still so many. Mbak Dini, Mbak Dini Nur Sabila, ready? <laughs> Dini Nur Sabila, are you ready? Dini Nur Sabila? Yes, All right. sorry. <laughs> okay, now your turn. The disappear hmm? uh, make a sound uh, wolf pack to uh, feel his boring. Feel you mean felt bored? Uh, his bored mm -hmm. to feel his bored and then uh, make people angry to do uh, he always repeat his job for uh, twice Yo. and the last okay yes mister yeah again yeah. and the last uh, when the wolf come in uh, his around and he want to uh, uh, and he need help and people in there not believe anymore. Mm -hmm. uh, and and uh, cow uh, and his sheep. Uh, uh, now uh, then his sheep uh, eating by wall and the boy crying. Uh, oh yes, eaten. Okay. Eaten uh, by wall. Mm -hmm. And they cried. <laughs> okay, um, little bit uh, corrections. It is supposed to be joke, yeah, not joke, but joke. And then sheep, sheep, not sip. If you say sip, if you say sip, sip, this is like, for example, sip, sip, menyeruput, minuman. That is sip. Uh, if you say sip, that that's the meaning of sip. But if you say sheep, then it is not bad. Right? Ship. Be careful with that. Okay. Yes. Thank you. Maybe sometimes you're going to learn about uh, pronunciation practice in more detail, yeah? Yes. <laughs> okay. Um, now, Cecilia, what do you think? You want to try? Yes, sir. All right. Let's give it a try. Uh, uh, there is a boy, Phil Bird, and he has an idea to why mm -hmm. he said that there is a wolf in there yeah. and he asked for help with people around him mm -hmm. uh, he, uh, several times and the people around him want to help him mm -hmm. uh, they got panic but then they angry because the boy uh, is lie 
until in one day what he said before is come true mm -hmm. which he saw it before that there is a wolf around him yeah uh, the wolf appear him and the people around him didn't believe him and don't want to help him uh, and at the end uh, the wolf it's the sheep mm -hmm. is that's the end all right okay great thank you cecilia good job okay yeah uh, now let's try who else we have not yet talked abigail abigail wanna give it a try yes sir all right let's hear your story once upon a time in the beautiful village near Las rolling hills there was a boy who watched over the village sheep. Being alone up in the hills away was very boring. To live in up his day, the boy thought it would be fun to scare the villagers and scream. Wolf, wolf, the villagers grabbed whatever they could and ran up the hill to scare off the wolf. When they reached the top, they realized they had been tricked by the boy. The boy laughed and laughed until the villager angrily walked back down the hill. The boy continued to call Wolf and the villager warned him that the next time they would no longer believe him. One lazy afternoon, the boy had heard a terrible sound. Before he could even prepare himself, a wolf, a wolf appeared right before him and was and was all the villagers sheep. The boy screamed, wolf, wolf, but having lied so many times, people of the village just ignore him with no one to help him. All the sheep ran away and the boy was left crying on the hill. Thank you. Nice. You concluded, you make a, your own conclusions. That is quite good. <laughs> okay, nice, Abigail. All right. Now, who else have not yet um, deliver the conclusions? Oh, yeah, Mbak Hastameta. So, since you have already watched the video and you have already heard also um, the retelling of the story from the other participant, you should be able to do it now. Mbak Hastameta, ready? Bastamita, you there? Maybe not. Maybe not. Okay, maybe to uh, who else who happened? Ah, Ahmad. Ahmad, is that you? R R two twelve fifty one R two twelve fifty one Ahmad Hello <laughs> Are you there? Maybe not. Okay, what about Namira? Hello Namira, how are you today? Yes, sir, I'm good. Okay, can you retell the story? Uh yes. So there was a boy who was bored and decided to entertain himself by lying to people that there was a wolf and he yelled at the people in the village for help. And when everyone came to help him, he said he was just lying and he, he did the same thing for a second time and it made people even angrier not to believe him anymore. So. When one day really was a wolf, the people in the village didn't believe it. And finally, no one helped him and his sheep was eaten by the wolf. Nice, nice. Uh, that is a very fluent retelling the story. That's very nice. Thank you, Manamira. Okay, now who else who have not? Ari, Ari, you wanna try, Ari? No, I 
Ari, you're still there? You want to try, Ari? Uh, uh, Ari did not reply. What about, what about Hyrule? Hyrule, are you ready, Hyrule? You want to try, Hyrule Revanza? Uh, yes, sir. Let's give it a try. There is a boy who like to lie to the villagers, saying that there is a wolf. Every time he shot, the resident always help. But one day, when the real wolf come to the villagers, talk. He was laying because he had lied many times, and in the end, and and in the end, all the sheep were eaten by the wolf. That's all. That's very good, Hyrule. Great. Yeah, if I'm mistaken, you um, you are the little brother of. Bimi, is that so? Hairu, I can a little bit forget. No, yes, he, he little brother of La, Rara. Oh, Rara, sorry. Yeah, Namira, Namira. Namira, Namira, sorry. Oh, sorry. yes, Namira, sorry. <laughs> sorry I still like the no, <laughs> it's Namira. <laughs> okay, now um, the one who have not yet talked, which is Ari and also Ahmad. Is that Ahmad? Okay, Ahmad. You wanna try or not, Ahmad? <laughs> Wait, is there a name, Ahmad? Ahmad Rifwanto. You wanna try? Or maybe not, okay. Uh, if not, then I'm going to talk about the other story again. But this story is a little bit unique because this story somehow, um, it's called homonym story. Homonym story. Anybody here ever heard about homonym story before? No? <laughs> Okay, well, if you want to uh, know about homonym, sorry, you have to know about uh, homophone and also homograph first, okay? Homophone and homograph. Okay, I'm going to show you the video. Uh, and then after that, we are going to discuss about that. But yeah. Okay, can you see it right now on your screen? Not yet, sir. Oh yeah, there. Is it? Okay, this one. Uh, let's talk about homonym first, okay? Homonym. Homony, homonym, homograph, and also homophone. Homonyms, homophones, and homographs. Homophones are words that have the same sound, but have different meanings. For example, male and male. What other words can you think of that have the same sound, but different meanings? Okay, anybody uh, can make the example. Same sound, but different meaning. Same sound, but different meaning. For example, um, anybody knows here the English for BB? Like Paman and Bibi. What is the English for Bibi? Anybody know? 
auntie, auntie and uncle. Uh, yeah, uh, aunt. Is that so? <laughs> what about smooth? Anybody know how the way to say that? Smooth in English? And. and. Uh, actually, it is the same. And, oh. and. <laughs> and, and. If it is, uh, you can show it. Uh, you can say it also aunt, uh, auntie, but if it is aunt, it is going to be aunt and aunt, aunt aunt. Okay, for example, okay, uh, let's see it again. Here are some more homophones. Berry and berry, two, two and two, night and night, B and B. So that is the example of homophonia. Yeah? Phones, sound, homo, the same, the same sound. Even though the way how it is written is different, but the way how it sounds is the same. Each of these words have the same sound or pronunciation, but a different meaning. Homographs. Homographs are words that have the same spelling but different meanings. For example, bow and bow. Can you think of any more words that are spelled the same but have different meanings? All right. Anybody know? The way how it is written is the same. The way how it is written is the same, but the way how it sounds is different. The way how it's written and... I know. What is it? Uh, can no, you... but it's uh, inappropriate. It's like ho, tranquil, and ho. I can hear it again. I cannot hear. <laughs> My connection is not really that good. Uh, wake. Wake. Hello? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can you repeat again? Sorry, sorry. Uh, it's like Changkul, Hoe, Hoe, Ho. And? And for a woman who, who nauti, Hoe, Ho. <laughs> uh, it's not who, Ho. <laughs> oh, Ho. Ho. <laughs> Ho. <laughs> um, maybe the other, <coughs> the same. Uh, for example, air mata. Anybody know how to write down air mata? Tears. Uh, tears, right? T e a r. What about merobek? Tear. Tear. <laughs> Tear. Tear. Even though the way how it is written is the same, T e a r also, but the way how it is read is different. Tear and tear. See, mm. that is also the example. Also, for example, um, well, maybe this is um, homophone, yeah, homophone. Like, for example, um, warna merah. Warna merah, of course, red, right? But about the verb two of membaca, anybody know what is the verb two of membaca? Red. 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 <laughs> Read, rat, rat, right? Verb one, verb two, verb three. Read, rat, rat. So it is the same, rat and rat. Uh, even though the way how it is written is the same, uh, different, but the way how it sounds is the same. So it's actually homophone, yeah? Uh, rat and rat, it's actually homophone. Okay, let's see um, the other uh, example of homograph. Here are some more homographs. Wind and wine, live and live, wound and wound, lead and lead. Each of these words are spelled the same but have a different meaning. An easy way to remember which is which is to look at the suffix in each word. Both are of Greek origin, phone meaning sound, homophones sound the same, and graph meaning to write. Homographs are written the same. 
What about words that are pronounced the same and spelled the same? Words like left, as in the car turns left and there is one apple left. Left and left are homonyms, words that are both homophones and homographs. Because, um, yeah, the, uh, the way how it sounds is the same and the way how it is written is the same also. So it is called homonym. Can you think of any more homonyms? That is, words that sound the same and have the same spelling? Here are some examples of homonyms. Letter and letter. Right and right. Ring and ring, bat and bat. Sometimes the word homonym is used more broadly to refer to any word that is a homophone or a homograph. See how many homophones, okay. homographs and homon... Okay, that's it. Now let's give it a try in the story. Um, so the story... It's basically a homophone. It has the same, uh, the same sound, but different. The way how it's written is di different. Mm. Dear, dear, and and see, <laughs> and and. Okay, I'm going to show you here. I'm going to ask you to read it, yeah, page by page, and then uh, let's hear how it is being sounds by native speaker. Book of homophones by Jean Beretta. All right. <laughs> Maybe start from Abigail first. Abigail, you better try. Yeah. Yeah. Try to read that page. Especially, uh, pay attention. Okay. The one with the bold ones, yeah. Uh, the bold words. It has make the same sound. Okay. Be careful with that. Okay. Okay. Go. Dear, dear. I now live in the zoo. At. <laughs> Okay. Sorry, the connection is. Ah, uh, you cannot see the picture. Ah, oh, I, 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 I can, I can. Okay. Can you repeat okay. it? Again? Let me repeat it. Mm -hmm. Dear, dear, I now live at the zoo. Wait until you hear what goes on over here. Love, and and. Hey, and and dear dear oh yeah by the way i now not i know but i now if you say i know it means saya tahu uh, you have to say i na uh, i now i now sekarang now just the same for example when you say rumah rumah is supposed to be house not house if you say house it will be selang jose house is selang by the way if you say house, you have to say house or mouse or cow or now, not no, yeah, now. Okay, uh, now let's hear uh, another speaker saying it. Dear, I now live at the zoo. Wait until you hear what goes on over here. Love, aunt, aunt. Okay, see, aunt, aunt. All right, now, uh, Cecilia. Yes, sir. All right. The the muse or mouse. The <laughs> muse loves muse. <laughs> he at eight balls. He at eight balls. So it's different then. He he at eight balls. So it's different. The first one is at. The second one is eight. Is that? Yes. But yeah. it has to be the same. <laughs> the bold one has to be the same. You, you make it different. <laughs> okay. Let's uh, hear it yeah, from the other speaker. The moose loves moose. He ate eight bowls. See? Eight, eight bowls. 
the same. So it's not egg, but eight. Forget um, there is GH over there. Anggap aja GH nggak pernah ada. So eight. He ate eight bowls. The moose loves moose. <laughs> All right. Now the next one, maybe uh, Mbak Hasta Meta. Are you ready, Mbak Hasta Meta? Yes. Okay. Yes, sorry because I have the sun time to uh, do my homework, oh. <laughs> office homework, but it's okay. All right, this one. Yeah. Uh, have you seen the if she been in the days or days? Uh, have Have you been seen the? A. Ew. <laughs> like ew. Is ew. That... <laughs> ew. She been in a days for days. Does it for days? Is that? She been in a days or for days. Okay, let's give it a try. Have you seen the you? She's been in a days for days. See, it's you and you. The same. You and you. You is some kind of ship and she's been a days for days days pusing puyeng <laughs> lihat aja matanya tuh kayak gitu see a days and days is the same right days so it's not days but days with z days hari-hari days. days not days, yeah, days with s but days okay. days all right <coughs> thank you now Let's uh, to Miss Demi. All right, this one. Miss Demi, you are still there? Or maybe not, yeah? Uh, okay, what about... I'm here, sir. Oh, I'm here. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> But, um, okay. That's him, the horse who, who is horse from humming a him. All right, the same, yeah? Him, him, horse, horse. Okay, uh, that's, yeah, everything in here is actually homophone, yeah? The same sound, even though the way how it's written is different. <coughs> okay, now to Nazwa Azahra. That's him, the horse who is horse from humming a him. All right. Nazwa Zahra. It's quiet a bit when the bat hangs from his feet. Feet. The same, yeah. <laughs> Benar-benar suatu pemandangan ketika melihat um, ya, lawar berbalik di atas kakinya. <coughs> It's quite a feat when the bat hangs from his feet. Okay. The monkey will oh, tell you. Ah. Mm, okay. Now, Namira. Namira? Yes, sir. <laughs> This one. The monkey will tell you a tale as he hangs from his tail. Yeah, exactly. Tail and tail, right? A sound, tail. That's the same like, for example, snake, ular. So you cannot say, hey, be careful, don't go over there. There's dangerous animal. What is it? Oh, there is snack. If you have snack, snack is makanan ringan. <laughs> you have to say snake, right? If you see A and then consonant and then E, it's going to sound A. For everything, that's uh, there is A consonant E. For example, I'm going to test you guys. For everyone, if you know, just tell me the answer. Memanggang. Anybody know what is memanggang in English? Hi. Memanggang. Uh, no, that, uh, that is, uh, for example, memanggang roti. This is lebih memanggang roti. This is more about memanggang roti. Uh, Yeah. Uh, baking. Toast. Bake. Lebih ke arah bake. Lebih ke arah bake. Toast lebih ke arah bakar kali ya. Bake. Right? Bake. Uh, what about punggung? Punggung is back. Right? 
Yeah. Um, for example, kekurangan? Kekurangan? Anybody know here? Lack, right? What about danau? Lake. 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 You have to make a sound or else people would be going to get confused. Which one do you think do you mean? Are you trying to say kurang or are you trying to say danau, right? You have to make it clear. For example, Lake. um fakta palsu. Fakta dan palsu. Anybody know? Fact and fake. Fake. fake and fake. Fake. You don't say fact and fact the same. <laughs> There is no different at all. You have to make a sound. A sound. Fact and fake, right? Fake. For example, uh -huh. uh, um, marah dan buatan. For example, buatan Cina, for example. Marah dan buatan. Angry and me. Mad. Angry and mad. No, no, no. We are trying to make the same sound, almost the same sound. Mad and made. Right? Made. Mad and made. <laughs> okay. For example, bisa dan tongkat. Stick. <laughs> bisa dulu. Bisa. What is bisa? Can. Yeah. Just can. E at the end of it. That's going to be tongkat. Can me? Cane. 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 Can and cane. Can and cane. A. A sound. A sound. Right? For example, so, so the other example, what else, yeah? A lake, bake, a fake. A cake, right? Cake. Um, oh, for example, pause. Anybody can say what is pause in English? Well, wrong. That is well. sumur or back back saja. If you say well, that is sumur or back back saja. <laughs> see, well. exactly the pattern. See the patterns. You see a and then consonant and then e. It must be a sound, right? A wale, a tale, right? A kane. And oh, yeah, also for examples, uh, teman dan pucat. What is pucat in English? Anybody know? Pain. Pale. Pale, right? Oh, pain. Yeah, pale. Teman. Oh, yo, what's up, pal? <laughs> pal. So yeah, that is the, one of the example. Okay, uh, that's the pattern. Yeah, if you see uh, a and then consonant and then e, it must sounds a. Okay. You. A tail as he hangs from his tail. <coughs> the dough needed the dough. Ah, mm. <laughs> okay. Uh, who else who have not yet? Maybe Sabrina? Yes, Sabrina? <laughs> yes, sir. Yeah. Let's give it a try. The two, the two needed the towel because she needed the towel. <laughs> so it sounds different. Yes. Which one sounds different? <laughs> two and towel. But it's supposed to sounds the same. <laughs> <laughs> you have to make it sounds the same. If you make it sounds different, then you must be wrong. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Wanna try again? <laughs> okay. Maybe let's try Cecilia. Wanna try this one, Cecilia? Uh, the the two need the two because she need the the two. Oh. <laughs> Why it's different? First you said do and then second do. <laughs> okay, so uh, it's gonna be like this. Um, for example, there is someone, um, a person's uh, name, Joe, right? G O E G O E. That's Joe. So this one also the same. 
if you see that patterns O and then E is going to be O, for example, dough. Uh, the dough needed the dough because she needed the dough. <laughs> okay, so that's the way how to say that. Okay, let's uh, hear that. So, because she needed the dough. Uh, wait. The dough needed the dough because she needed the dough. Okay, see, that's the way how to say that. Okay, um, maybe to Tara, wanna try this one, Tara? The toad, wait a minute. The toad was towed to the top, to the sea, so, so he could see the sea. Exactly, the toad was towed to the top of the seesaw, uh, so he could see the sea. Okay. Uh, seesaw, yeah, saw. It's the same like, so you don't say so, but saw, okay, saw. That's the same like, for example, you know, uh, the foot, kelapa kaki, kucing, and anjing. We call it what? Anybody know? Kelapa. Paw? No, paw. Paw. Oh. You don't say po, there is no u sound at all. Pa. Pa. Okay. Uh, for example, this one also. Melihat verb kedua. Saw. Saw. Pa. For example, also uh, cakar. Cakar also the same. Claw. Not claw, but claw. Also hukum. Hukum in English. Law. Not low. If you say low, low is rendah, yeah. Law is rendah. It's not Lao either. There is no such thing Lao. <laughs> Lao probably a Chinese word. Yeah. Uh, saw, law, paw, claw. <laughs> okay. So that's the way how to say that. Okay. Uh, let's continue it again. The toad was towed to the top of the seesaw so he could see the sea. Okay. Uh, let's try Hairu. Hairu, wanna try Hairu? Hairu, wanna try? Yes, sir. Right, I'm gonna try. The whale was allowed to the whale allowed. All right, the whale, yeah? Not the whale, but whale. The whale was allowed to whale allowed. I remember when I was teaching in Surabaya International School, um, at that time, I was trying to tell a story about house, and then uh, it was like in the first grade of elementary school, class uh, SD. And then I talked to my students. Uh, in my class at that time, there are some students uh, coming from America, uh, from Russia, from Japan, from India, and also from Korea. And then I told them, since they are still like in the first grade, I'm trying to tell them stories, a kid story. Okay, so students, we are, now we are going to talk about the biggest animal in the oceans. Anybody know what is the biggest animal in the oceans? And some of them say, um, um, shark, white shark. No, I don't, uh, it's not shark, Asad. And then, um, and then they kind of, kind of, kind of confused. And then I told, told them that. So the biggest animal in the ocean is well <laughs> at that time. I said, well, and then Duncan, Duncan was from America. Uh, Duncan said that, well, what do you mean well? You know, I said, um, the biggest animal in the oceans. And then Duncan was like, well, hmm. Oh, you mean whale. See, <laughs> it was quite embarrassing. <laughs> so at that, uh, at that time I said that, yeah, that's what I meant. I said, whale. And then Duncan said, no, you said well. No, I said whale, you see your ears. <laughs> so luckily, he was only like um, first grade of elementary school. <laughs> so it was quite embarrassing, but still you have to make sure that you are not making any mistake when you are trying to say something like this. <laughs> or oh, whale, yeah, not well. Also, for example, it was Duncan also, if I'm mistaken, or uh, somebody else, yeah? Uh, when I, um, for example, uh, I will try to say that the other teacher, uh, the other teacher said that um, you have to go to her office, for example. But at that time, I still do not know the way how to say it correctly. So that at that time, like 11 years ago, and then I said that, um, you know what, um, Miss, um, what's the name, yeah? I kind of forget, Miss Febri. Miss Febri said that you have to go to her office. What do you mean say it? Yeah, you know, say it, Miss Febri say it you have to go to uh, her office. Uh, you know, say the verb two of say. 
Ah, you meant sad. <laughs> See, sad with the verb to of say, uh, even though it is uh, S A I N D, but you have to read it sad. The same like sedih, sad, sad. <laughs> See, uh, that is homophone also. Sad, sad. Be careful with that. <laughs> Even though you are talking to uh, little kids, it, uh, but still they are basically native speaker. Even though they probably do not know the way how to write it down or uh, they still cannot read yet, but they ha have already known how the way to, how the way it should sound. <laughs> okay, uh, next. The whale is, was allowed to wail aloud. <coughs> okay, I think I'm just going to play it for you guys. The bear had to pause to bear his big paws. See, this is what I told you. Uh, if you see a consonant and then A and then W, I think it's going to be R. It's not pow, but paw, right? Like a uh, hukum, law, and chakar, claw, right? Okay, oh, melihat kedua, saw. And by the way, the bear, not the beer, yeah? Bear had to pause, not pause. But pause. Hey, the elephant threw a pail through the big bale of hay. Through, through, through. Melempar, verb two. Verb two of throw. And then through, melewati. And so it's not truck, but through. Okay, through. you read about the red fox who blew blue bubbles? See, this is one of the examples that I said previously, right? Uh, the verb two, that's actually um, verb three, by the way, because there is have in front. Uh, it is actually present perfect interrogative question in the form of a present perfect. Have you read about red fox who blew blue bubbles? We are going to talk about tenses in some of the next meeting. The giraffe's long neck lets him choose what he choose. Choose, choose, the same sound. The cows in the herd were in a good mood. I heard them as they mooed in harmony. Okay, that's easy. The bee flew away from the flea with the flu, and the bee can be sure that if he had the flu, the flea would flee too. Okay, Miss Dami, you wanna try to say this? <laughs> Miss Dami? Oh, I think she's not there anymore. Okay, maybe. Hi, I'm here, all right. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, sorry. Because I focus on the video. I always hear. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. <laughs> hey. oh, the B blow. Oh, there you go. <laughs> you have to focus saying this one. <laughs> <laughs> the the bee flew away from the flea with the flu uh -huh. and the bee can be sure that if he had the flu the flea would flee too <laughs> be careful right okay <laughs> if you lost focus you're going to get wrongly yeah uh, it is called um tongue twister yeah <laughs> tongue twister they are uh, combining words that looks the same and sounds the same into one that's the same like she sells seashells by the seashore maybe have you heard about that <laughs> right she sells seashells by the seashore or <coughs> Uh, Peter Piper pick up a pack of um, Peter Packard people. So, um, where is the pickled papers that Peter Piper picked? Or maybe in Bahasa Indonesia, kok kuku kaki kakek kakek kuku kaku kaku, for example, right? <laughs> or um, for example, seular dari lurus meningkat di atas pagar rumah Pak Umar. <laughs> so, <laughs> <laughs> if Western people have their own tongue twister, we also have our own tongue twister, right? <laughs> Uh, if they want to learn Bahasa Indonesia, just give them our tongue twister. Yeah, we have also our tongue twister. Blibet, blibet, dalo. <laughs> For example, uh, bule, they cannot say R, right? They're going to feel tortured when they have to say Umar, Lali, Lurus, Mingkar. Yeah, that's Rumah Pak Umar. Okay, uh, the next. There is no news about the news news they is, keep um, to themselves. 
this is some kind of buffalo, desert buffalo. This is the Aunt Anne, Anne, you do have some very interesting new neighbors. I have a new neighbor too. Do you know about the hair with no hair? She's an expert on skin care. Love your dear dear. Okay. <laughs> hair, hair. Anybody know what is hair? Hare, hair. Anybody knows? <laughs> from the picture alone? Anybody can make a guess? No? <laughs> hair is actually big rabbit, yeah? Big rabbit. Um, usually, if it is small, they're going to call it rabbit. If it is big, um, it, is, it is going to be like a hair. <laughs> I remember also when I still do not know about um, the terms of hair, <coughs> there's this Natalie when um, she was like in the second grade of elementary school. Natalie was from Russia. Natalie said that, you know what, Mr. Tegu, I, uh, I have hair in my house. What, what do you mean you have hair in your house? You have hair on your head right now. No, not this one hair, Mr. Tegu. It's hair, the animal. What What kind of animal is that? Hair. Um, so what it, does it look like? You know hair? You, you never heard about hair before? Uh, and then she said that it's the animal who like to jumping around. <laughs> and then I catch, oh, you mean uh, the same like rabbit? Yeah, but it's a little bit bigger. So it is called hair. Oh, see, see? hair. So yeah, uh, all of these are the story of homophone. The end. Okay, so that's the story of homophone. <laughs> Homophone. Yeah, homophone. The same sound, even though the way how it is written is different, right? Okay, <coughs> so uh, that's all our speaking practice for today, which is uh, you have already uh, practiced how the way to retell the, the same sound. Yeah. I'm going to share the link after this, yeah, <laughs> so that you can uh, use it as your own material. And then, um, Thank you for attending this class. Hopefully this will be able to improve your speaking skill and expand your knowledge, especially about maybe homonym, homophone, and homo homograph, uh, the things that you may never heard before. <laughs> okay, thank you for joining this class and I will see you again tomorrow. Good job, everyone. Thank you, mister. Thank you, mister. Bye, everyone. Thank, thank you. Bye-bye. See you tomorrow. Bye. Bye.